So previously we've spoken about variable stars, and in that video we mentioned one such specific type known as a cataclysmic variable star. Um, that is like nova or supernova are, are a good example of a cataclysmic star, mm. um, which is the death of a star as it's used the last of its fuel. Uh, in this picture shown here is the remnants of Kepler's supernova. Uh, this was the last supernova to go off in the Milky Way in the year 1604. Yeah, and this supernova was so bright that it could easily be seen from here on Earth with the naked eye. It could be seen during the day with the naked eye for three weeks. Now, unfortunately, Kepler's supernova and all supernovae that go off actually um, and have gone off in the Milky Way have happened before we had the technology or telescopes to actually observe them in real time. However, despite not being able to observe the supernova in real time, there is a lot of scientific value in studying the remnants of these supernova like we see here, mm. because from that we can gain insights into the type of star that exploded. So in looking for more uh, of these supernova remnants to investigate, perhaps there may have been recordings of such events within indigenous knowledge systems. Yeah, so in the previous video, we heard about the Fisherman Brothers, as you, you explained to us, Pete. And as the eldest brother passed on into the afterlife, the community recalls seeing a bright new star shining in the sky. So, could this be reference to a supernova event? Yeah, it's an interesting question because in this story, we know that the current sort of representation of the two brothers is the stars Shaolu and Liseth, uh, which are in the constellation Scorpio. And we do in fact know of a supernova that has gone off in this region. Um, to understand that, we need to look at another culture's traditional knowledges, and that is the recordings of from Chinese astronomers in the fourth century. They recall that um, a bright new star appeared in the Chinese asterism called Wei. Now, Wei is the asterism or area of the sky, um, which is in what the sort of tail end of what we refer to as Scorpio, which is shown here. Yeah, now the Chinese scholar uh, Xin Yu recorded in this, uh, this guest star appeared brighter than all other stars in the sky, except for Sirius. Now Sirius, or the dog star as some people call it, uh, now that is the brightest star in the sky. Now, uh, this supernova event, or this bright guest star, uh, it was said to have lasted eight months before it eventually disappeared from visibility. Now in 2004, astronomers were able to identify uh, this supernova remnant, uh, and it is called SN393, uh, or Supernova N393, which appears just four degrees from Shaola and Lasath right where the all new people uh, recorded that bright star appearing. So there are only approximately 300 supernova remnants that are currently known um, to date, uh, and that number is steadily growing, teaching us more and more about how heavy elements exist and how galaxies evolve over time. Uh, this story from the Ongnu people um, shows that traditional cultural recordings of transient events such as supernova can perhaps help us in knowing and understanding where we can point our telescopes to now to hopefully find more remnants like this.